Piero had only a tenth of his father's talent. Never should have welcomed that mad monk into the city. Look at all the misery he's wrought. So willing to accept his oppression. He just threw us out. Said all we own belonged to the kids of the San Marco now. Sometimes I wish the assassino would return to Firenze, that we might be free of his tyranny. Salve, Ezio. You picked a fine time for a homecoming. Then it's true. Savonarola has taken control of Firenze. Yes. No doubt aided by that treacherous artifact. We should get to work on retrieving it. That may be more complicated than you think. <laughs> when isn't it? Why don't you fill me in on things? Walk with me. It all started a few weeks ago. The man everyone once reviled was suddenly the one they worshipped. Ah, the apple. Only in part. It's not the city he's enthralled, but its leaders. Men possessed of influence and power. They, in turn, oppress the citizens and ensure his will is done. The people act as if they have no say in the matter. Rare is the man willing to oppose the status quo. And so it falls to us to help them see the truth. Those bodies bear the emblem of the Borgia. Yes. The Spaniard keeps sending his soldiers into Firenze. And Firenze keeps sending them back. Usually in pieces. Then he knows the apple is here as well. An unfortunate complication. On me. Assault would be dangerous. True. But what other option is there? Aside from the city leaders, the people's minds are their own, correct? See, si. 
And they follow Savonarola, not by choice, but force and fear. See, si. Then I propose we use this to our advantage. If we can silence his lieutenants and stir up discontent, he will be distracted, and I will have a chance to strike. Clever. I'll speak with La Volpe and Paola. They can help to organize the uprising as you free the districts. Then it's settled. I'll take care of Isabetto's.